hey what is up youtube welcome to another youtube video today we are going to upgrade the transmission fluid from this rav4 this is the recommended fluid from the dealership the fluid that i actually have in the transmission right now if you haven't watched my previous video i actually uh, installed a transmission cooler expecting to like uh, increase the life of the transmission and uh, after doing a little bit of research i ended up figuring out that these are not the greatest transmission fluid even though that's what the dealership recommends so i went ahead and ordered some amsoil signature series 100 percent synthetic atf as you can see here these are also fuel efficient and uh, according to the research i made these are really good so they're also compatible with these you can mix these two with no issues um, at least for my car this is a 2016 RAV4 so you want to make sure you do your own research and make sure uh, that you get the right version for your car but uh, yeah I'm just gonna go ahead and give this a try and uh, see how it goes let's get started I ordered six quarts uh, because I'm not going to do a flush I'm just gonna drain and top it off alright so to do this I already removed the tire and here is the transmission so to safely do this and make sure the levels are right you're gonna have to turn on the car and let it idle until the transmission fluid reaches between 109 and 114 degrees so in your case you want to also look up how to safely top off the fluid on your transmission so every car is not going to recommend the same things so you want to make sure you do this uh, according to your car's manufacturer all right so the transmission temperature is actually higher than what's required it's at 131 i'm gonna have to let it uh, sit for a little bit to cool it down around 114. all right so using a 24 millimeter socket i'm gonna remove the fill plug all right now with a drain pan at the bottom we're gonna use a six millimeter hex key to break the drain plug loose. So we want to put in six quarts. So we want to make sure we only drain out six quarts. It looks a little bit more brownish in the pan. But as you can see, it's still brand new fluid. Obviously, that's just a portion of the fluid. To get most of it out, I'm going to have to use the longer socket to get in there and unscrew the tube. I'm gonna unscrew it. And now most of the fluid should come out. As you can see. All right. Uh, the fluid kind of looks round, as you can see. starting to look really brownish. So I'm planning to remove six quarts, but apparently this is not getting much of the oil out at all. So this bottle is about four quarts. I'm gonna put this in here and see how much we got out so far. All right, so this is about two quarts that we got out. I'm not sure how I'm gonna 
get more oil out since I already removed the tube. I'm probably gonna have to use the hose to drain it more. All right, so I explained this last time when I installed the transmission cooler. Basically, this is the, the inlet. The transmission is pumping the fluid from uh, the little hose right here into the uh, stock cooler and heater. Then back out here into the transmission cooler I installed last time. And then back from this hose back to the transmission so to get more fluid out I'm just gonna disconnect this hose put it into the bottle then I'm gonna start the engine for a few seconds it's gonna pump the fluid into the bottle uh, that's uh, another way to get more fluid out of the transmission and a quick tip about that you don't want to let it run too long dry because uh, that's not good for the transmission this is just a few second thing you don't want to let it uh, idle dry that's bad for the transmission all right so i ended up uh, removing this one it's a softer hose and it's easier to remove the other one is really hard solid stuck on there all right and then i'm gonna put that into the bottle so i hooked up the battery uh, the hose is uh, directed into the bottle if you can see it pretty sure I'm gonna have to run back and fix it because it's gonna move when I crank it and I'm gonna quickly turn it back off all right it is pumping the oil into the bottle All right. All right, not much is coming out, so I'm gonna stop it. All right, so not much came out. I was expecting a little bit more than that. I guess the pump is uh, pumping the ETF from the pan, but the pan is what we drained out. So yeah, I'm gonna just go ahead and add the AMS oil in. All right, now it's time to go ahead and load these. I like the fact that it came in these easy packs, as you can see, makes loading a breeze. I'm gonna cut this. I cannot squeeze it too much, I just realized. Alright, number two. Alright, I just realized that this one is a cup. I didn't even need to cut it. This one was a screw all along. I could just unscrew it, but I didn't realize. Alright, number two. Look how clear that is. All 
right that's two in number three i'm gonna go ahead and start the engine uh let it idle and then i'm gonna pay attention to the transmission temperature and when the temperature reaches around 114 degrees i'm gonna go ahead and uh, top it off so the level is perfect Number three. All right, so I'm gonna start the car, let it idle till it's up to temperature. All right, that's the optimal temperature already. So let's check it. So we are about 113 degrees for the transmission temperature. Now we're gonna go ahead and remove the drain plug and let it drizzle. If it doesn't drizzle, we're going to have to uh, add a little bit. And also you want to be sure that you cycle through all the gears. You're going to put it into park, uh, reverse, neutral, drive, and make sure that the oil is uh, running properly through the whole transmission. All right, so we do not have the drizzle. So we're going to have to add some oil in it. Alright, so I'm going to add until I have a slow drizzle into the pan. gonna go ahead and add more and see we're gonna need a slow drizzle all right this is the fourth quart let's put that in here all right so that's about right we now have a slow drizzle we are good All right, so the fluid level is good. Now I'm gonna put the drain plug back. I'm gonna tighten it up. All right, so in conclusion, I was able to drain two and a half, almost three quarts of uh, OEM ATF, as you can see here. And I was able to put in three quarts and just a little bit. One of these were open, but not much was used. Uh, this is the Amsoid Signature Series, uh, fuel efficient. So three quarts in. I'm gonna drive it for about 10 miles or so. And then I'm going to do another oil change again and put in these three quarts. That's the best way I can approach this. So that's what I'm going to do. All right, so go ahead and give me a like, subscribe, and stay tuned for part two. Thank you for watching. I will see you in the next video.